I'm Buona B. Um, I'm a fine artist. I primarily paint using acrylic. My family's from a small region called Muncia Mala, which borders Montenegro and Albania. My father, he grew up there and then migrated to the United States in, I believe, the 80s. So I was born and raised here, and a lot of my experience is both influenced by my American upbringing and also my father's own experiences back home. I've been painting since I was about 17. Um, then I went to a public university and was really inspired by art history. Also my brother who's a linguist, we were always talking about Albanian history specifically and how it has been undermined throughout the canon and sort of recontextualizing where Albanians fit within that. So my art process now focuses on culture, uh, very literally implementing mythologies, uh, different symbolism and using that to reference those histories. When I was in high school, I was an athlete, I was into science, not art at all. But growing up, my father would always encourage me to get into art. I was creative throughout my childhood, but nothing like painting. And he would always say, why don't you paint, why don't you paint? But I never got into it. He might have saw something in me I didn't see in myself. And eventually, um, I ended up getting diagnosed with a chronic illness and missing school. And during that time, I started drawing because I had nothing else to do. And that's really how I got into it. Then my father saw something in me. I mean, I would draw a lamp or something really small, and he'd be like, that's amazing. And you know, it, it would just be a little lamp or something. And he would go and buy me charcoal paints. And slowly from there, I just kept doing it. It was very bad at the beginning. I'd paint a little pear and it'd be like all this brown muddy paint and he'd be like that's great no you'll get better it'll turn out <laughs> and just spend time doing that and that's how I got to where I am now. I think I mean it's a process when I was a bit younger not that I'm old now but when I was a bit younger I thought more sort of um, too literally about it like thinking about events that are happening here and now when in fact what's happening here and now is the result of misconstrued histories that have been happening for a thousand years or over a thousand years. So really the way I'm thinking now about my own work involving our culture is by analyzing not what's happening now or in the past 100 years, but going beyond that into ancient history prior to probably 500 BCE and thinking about, you know, those mythologies and stories. And in the same way, you know, Greeks represent their art through their own mythological stories and the Romans did and Nordic tribes did. I think that we can do the same. And not many artists are doing that. They're not really referencing all these beautiful artifacts we have in this ancient history and these stories that are passed down through oral tradition. So by taking those and implementing them through the visual narrative, I think I'm able to capture a part of history that has not been spoken about or represented. The project I'm working on right now, I'm calling it Illyrian Mythology and it's exactly how it sounds. It's mythology about Illyrians. However, there is sort of this historic um, imprint with the name Illyrian, right? Mm -hmm. Even throughout my undergrad, using that term has been problematic. Uh, historians say it's not concrete. However, there's plenty of evidence to support that Albanians today are the descendants of Illyrians and Illyrians are the descendants of the Pelesgians. So there's a lot of historic overlay within my work that in some context could be seen as provocative, especially if a historian is looking at the work or a linguist or someone who's more into academia. And that's what I really want is to create that conversation of what these histories mean and who dictates how they are told. And by doing so, I'm taking back sort of this narrative and representation where we've never been able to represent for ourselves. And what I'm doing literally is taking Eastern art and Western art and combining them. So for example, the Ottomans who both colonized and influenced Albanians and the Romans and Greeks who both colonized and influenced the Albanians, taking their art forms and positioning them in a way where I'm able to tell an Albanian story. 
And so the Illyrians existed before the Ottomans came, and that's why I'm calling it Illyrian mythology. For me, I'm still considered sort of a young artist, and I'm going through this journey, but I think it's always good, and I'm speaking for myself, I don't want to project, but I think about my ancestors and what they went through. And I have such a privilege being in the United States, growing up here, and this is the biggest reason why I'm really influenced in using my history, and other artists could use their history because my grandmother didn't have that opportunity. Um, my None of my ancestors really had that opportunity, even my father didn't. I was lucky enough that he came here and provided me with this ability to go to school. And so it almost feels like my duty to give back. And so if there is that inclination to give back, they should, or other artists should definitely listen to their gut and do so because they're the only ones who can do it. No one else will, right? No one else is going to make work about our culture if we don't do it for our, ourselves. So that's probably what I would say to, to anyone if they needed advice or guidance on, especially being an Albanian in America, there is something that feels very isolating about it. And um, other Albanian artists, we can connect and understand one another in that isolation, but no one else can really understand it because there's not a lot of us. And we know our history has been undermined and we have not been represented correctly. And those back at home might not have the right resources or support from the government to do it. So it's sort of this weird position that we're in, being in the United States, where we can do so much if we just realize that and kind of accept our place within this and see it almost as like a mission or a duty.